Now, this sign I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to mention the first half hour. It's a huge sign, 170 metres by 90 metres, 15,000 uh, square metres, painted in a paddock near Tullamarine, so you see it flying in or out. It has a kangaroo mounting a lion. In a sexual sense, it's, well, presumably, it says sports bet, and then that's a, a cartoon, sportsbet.com.au, rooting for the wallabies. Now, uh, Andrew Dimitriou doesn't like it, Bruce Bilson doesn't like it, and Bill Shorten, the minister, expressed a view. I, I think it's very tasteless. I don't know if it's illegal. Um, bad taste has never been illegal, but it's certainly not necessarily... Um, the f I don't want the first impression of Melbourne, the image of uh, Australia's na emblematic national animal um, doing something to a, a lion. On the line from Sportsbet, Matthew Campbell. Good morning. Good morning, Neil. Whose who's land is it on? Uh, it's on a land that we had permission to uh, to use. Uh, as you expect, with the world's largest painting, you don't actually go just drop in there without permission. So uh, we've had permission to use that. Whose land is it on? Uh, it's it's leased land uh, through uh, the Living Legends. I'm sorry. The, oh, the Living Legends being the yeah. uh, the race. Uh, yeah, it's an empty paddock that's that, that, that not used. Are you doing it just to take, get, get people to react? Well, we're right behind the Wallabies, so we're trying to draw attention to what is the biggest sporting event of 2013. It's a huge tour of the Wallabies taking on uh, the Lions. It's always tougher than the beat. So, yeah, we're trying to draw attention to it uh, in, a, in a funny and irreverent way. OK, what, what exactly do the words say? Uh, rooting for the Wallabies, hashtag rooting for Oz. And what does the illustration show? It's a, a wallaby uh, uh, mounting or hugging a lion. Well, which is it? Well, it's up to... I mean, that's the beauti beautiful thing of a double entendre or the beautiful thing of a cheeky and irreverent sign or a symbol. It's up to people to uh, to have a bit of fun with it and uh, and uh, make what they want of it. And I, I, you know, I, I would suggest that most people would see it for what it is. It is some fun. We're getting behind the wallabies. It's there for a few days and we'll just uh, draw attention to it. And it is what it is. And it's very visible when you're flying in. Yes, it is, and the, the Wallabies and the Lions uh, play their first test on uh, Saturday night, and they should be uh, flying into Melbourne on uh, on Sunday, so it's a bit of a message for the Lions at, at, uh, at sportsbet.com.au. We're right behind the Wallabies. Why the word rooting? That's an American phrase for supporting. Oh, look, I mean, it, it's, it's used uh, in America, it's used here as well, and as we know, it's part well, it's of our vernacular as well concept. on the other side of the double entendre, so... Uh, okay. So it's a, it's, it's a uh, it's deliberate... larrikin okay. spirit that we wanted to show. OK, and that's, uh, that's why you've drawn the wallaby having sex with a lion. Well, you can, you, can, you can say having sex, but it's actually not that graphic, Neil. Well, what do you think it's doing? Well, he's, he's got a wink and he's on top of the lion. I mean, it's a double entendre. Yeah, OK. I mean, that's what you meant. Fair enough. That, that's what you meant, and you're not backing away from that. No, I, I mean, it, I mean it's, it, when you're going to paint a, a sign that big... Uh, you can't back away from what, what you're trying to uh, draw the attention to. But oh, well, you could plough the, you plow the paddock and get rid of it. Oh, look, it, it, let's be honest, Neil, it's not going to be there forever. Well, um, how long is it there for? I, I'd say we've, we've had some discussions and uh, it'll probably be there for uh, four or five days. OK, was that always the intention? Yeah. All right. Andrew Dimitri is not a prude, he doesn't like it. Bill Shorten well, is not a prude, he doesn't like it. Bruce Bilson's not a prude, he doesn't like it. I don't think I'm a prude, I think it's a bit that's tacky. That's that's the beauty of your uh, your program, Neil. It's, it's up for everyone's opinion. As you say, Friday is People's Day, so it's an opinion thing. I mean, we've got uh, over 400,000 members at sportsbet.com.au and, uh, and they'll they'll tell us whether they like it, whether they think it's tacky or whether they think it, it's funny. I mean, former uh, international rugby player Matt Guiteau, Matt Guiteau said, look, it's a bit of good-natured ribbing and a bit of fun and let's hope that most people will see see it for what it is. And I think most people will. But Well, yeah, but a lot. that's everybody flying in and out of Melbourne Airport's going to see it. Uh, that's why it's placed near the airport. And what did it cost you? Especially when the Wallabies and the Lions come in on Sunday. What did it cost you? Actually, I don't know the cost of that, to be honest with you. But right. uh, not a cheap exercise. All right, so you're not going to change it. You've got... Did you get a permit for it? Council permit? Uh, we had permission to use the land, yeah. No, that's not the same thing. Did you get a council permit for it? Uh, I don't think... Uh, I'm not the person to speak to there, but... Uh, whether we had a council permit or not, we had permission to use the land, and we've had discussions with Parks Victoria about that as well. And Parks Victoria is happy with it? Parks Victoria, we had an agreement with Parks Victoria that uh, we'll start to bring it down in about four days' time. When did you reach that agreement? Yesterday. Discussions are held with yesterday with Parks Victoria. That was after it was installed? That's correct. So you talked to Parks Victoria, you owned the land, after you put it up? We had permission to use the land now. Not from Parks Victoria? From uh, the people that leased the land. Yeah. 
Okay, and but you haven't got council approval. I'm told you need a council permit for that. Well, if we did need a council per- permit, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Well, anyway, you're not backing away. You're not going to plough it in early. No, we'll just wait till the teams fly in, Neil. Oh. And I'm sure there'll be a couple of members on the team, both teams, that will get a kick out of it, and we'll see it for what it is. A reverent, cheeky, a bit of fun. And that's what we do at sportsbet.com today. We've always been a little bit irreverent. We've always been on the cutting edge. Okay, well, just hold on. You might be interested in listening. Matthew Guy's on the line, State Planning Minister. Matthew Guy, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Is it Parks Victoria land? It is, and I'm afraid I don't see it as, uh, as kind of light-hearted as, uh, as Matthew does because it is Parks Victoria land. No permission was sought, and he says it's there for four or five days. Well, I say it's there for four or five more hours, and it better be ploughed in by the end of the day. You want to get rid of it? Uh, It is crass. It is not the kind of welcome to Melbourne that I expect, that the government expects. Uh, It is, in fact, befitting of pub advertising. It's not befitting of uh, advertising for what uh, we are seeking to create in this city, which is a stylish international city. Uh, And Melbourne can do better than that. And I don't mind if that form of advertising takes place in certain locations. But to welcome international visitors to Melbourne with that image is not good enough. Mm, OK, and, and so Parks Victoria will what? Tell Sportsbet, plough it in. Well, I've spoken to the Environment Minister this morning. He's with the Premier in Indonesia. Uh, I, I won't repeat his comments, uh, but uh, his view is that it will be removed and it will be removed forthwith, and Parks Victoria have been had this communicated to them this morning. OK, and you want it removed today? Yep. Mm, I'm told they need a council permit for it anyway. No, you need a council permit if there's a structure. Uh, if it's on the ground, you won't, uh, and... The, Matthew's right in saying that uh, you can put it onto the ground, that's fine. But I simply say there's got to be better standards in this form of advertising. There, there, I mean, there's just got to be better standards when it comes to, you know, a, a public advertising position like this. And I would have thought that common sense would have dictated that this does not fit that. OK, so if it's not gone by the end of the day, what happens? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't want to be in Parks Victoria at 5.30pm if it's still there. Thank you very much. Matthew Guy, the planning minister. Matthew Campbell, he wants it ploughed in. Will you do it? If we're told to plough it in, we'll plough it in. You probably got the attention you wanted anyway. I appreciate the phone call, Neil. Matthew Campbell from Sportsbet. Matthew Guy, state planning minister. Time.